Welcome students in my new tutorial and today I'll be teaching you about macro. So what is a macro? A macro is a saved sequence of commands or keystrokes that are stored for later use. So it means if we want some kind of commands or sequence of commands that we have to use again and again for that purpose we use macro. It allows automation of both simple and complex tasks. So automatically it will make a sequence of some steps which can be used for performing some complex tasks. Further macros are especially useful to repeat a task the same way over and over again. It can be suppose I need to do some kind of formatting or I want to add numbers so that means if that task I want to perform again and again, I can use macro. So first of all, we should know how to make a macro and how to use a macro. So directly I'll be taking you to the practicals where practically I'll teach you about this. So now I have taken one blank spreadsheet file in open office calc and I'm typing some numbers. Some random figures I am adding here. Suppose I have added four numbers in A1, A2, A3, A4. Now I'll be teaching you about macro and two examples I'll be giving here. One will be adding of numbers and second will be formatting. So these two things I'll be covering and I'll try to automate the sequence of commands when I want to add the numbers and when, uh, when I want to do the format. So how to do that? Suppose I want to add these numbers. So what I'll do here, I'll go to tools because I have to automate that task again and again. And for that, I need to make a macro. So for that, I go, I'll go to tools. I'll go to macros. And here you will find record macro. So I'll click here. It will take little time. And you will see here. It's coming here stop recording. So I have not to click upon stop recording. That means my macro is ready. And it's recording my steps. So what I'll do here. I'll put is equal to sign you know very well for doing any calculation and I'll write here a1 a2 a3 a4 so I have used the cell address for all four numbers and I pressed enter okay so now what I'll do I'll click on stop recording as I click on stop recording, this dialog box will come in front of me. Open office basic macros. So now I have to save my macro. And where you have to save it? You could see here save macro in. And here you will see my macros. So I am saving my macro in standard. So here you will see standard and inside standard you will see module 1. So I'm saving my macro here. You will click module 1 and you will type here add. And then I'll click on save. Now I have to check the macro. How to check? So what I'll do, I'll go to another sheet. And here I'll type any fictitious numbers. Now to run the macro, I'll go here, tools, macro and earlier I have used record macro. So now I have already recorded the macro, now I'll go to run macro. So I'll click on run macro. Now here macro selected dialog box will appear. From here where it is written my macro, we will click on plus sign. Click on standard because I saved it in standard under module 1. You will see here add macro which I have made earlier. Click on 
run so my insertion point is here click on run and you will see here automatically the tasks which i have performed earlier the sequence of steps which i have performed earlier is been performed and so it has done the totaling for me one more example i'll take let's see i have used here 1 2 3 4 numbers let's see this time i am taking One, two, three, four, five. Five numbers. One more I can take. Suppose I want to add the numbers here with the same macro. So I'll click on Tools, Macros, Run a Macro, My Macro Standard, Module One. I'll click on Add. Now you will see here. it has given the total but whether he it has had all the numbers that i have to check i'll check the formula here i'll press f2 so you will see here only a1 a2 a3 and a4 it has not added these two numbers so that is the shortcoming of macro it will only follow the steps which earlier i have used so that time i have used a1 a2 a3 and a4 so it will automatically not add the other two cell addresses so that's the negative point of macro but if i have to use the same sequence of commands again and again in same situation then macro is very much helpful so i hope you are very much clear in uh, which scenario it will not work it has properly worked here because it was 1 2 3 4 step this i have recorded that time i have recorded this step and in my second example again i have taken four numbers so it has worked properly but in my third example in my third example the numbers were more so it has only taken the first four numbers as was done by me previously when i was recording the macro because that time i have only taken the four numbers so i hope my first step is very much clear how to add the number and how to record a macro now i'll make a macro based upon formatting so what i'll do suppose again uh, same data i'll take and here i am doing i'm selecting the whole four numbers and uh, i'll change the background but before taking the background i have to record a macro so i have to go to tools macros record a macro you will see here it has started recording then i'll do the changes what i want like suppose back fill color here i want to uh suppose some other color i want to back fill and uh, font color suppose red this is line color from here line color if you're not able to see this line color you can always click here visible buttons and here all the options are there like line color line style so you can always click here if that option is not coming on the top so i have already on it so it's coming here suppose i am changing the color line line color suppose a blue so i have to first select it i'll select it and then i want to change the color blue uh blue fix and you will see it has it will change into blue color it was very hard to see whether blue color was coming or not then i can even change the line style suppose this line style i can change so this formatting is okay for me i want to record this formatting and the same formatting i want to copy to other parts of the sheet so again i was already saving this sequence i'll click on stop recording now i'll save it as formatting click on save now i'll go to sheet 4 and the same thing i want to 
copy here. That means I want to run the macro. I'll go to tools, macros, run a macro. In my macros, standard under module one formatting. So you can see here it's performing its task properly. That means my macro is running properly. Now the same thing I want to see here also. Now the same problem I'll face here also because here one two three four five cells are there but here the cells are more one two three four five so these two cells will remain as they are so let's try i'll go to tools macros run a macro standard module one formatting run so you will see here the formatting has been done till this part only. So that's the little loophole about macro. It is working where the recording is been done or the amount of cells where recording is been done. It will affect that amount of cells only. So like it was earlier till A1 to A5. So in this sheet also it is working from A1 to A5. So I hope my concept is very much clear. Just try this both kind of uh, macros one was adding and another one i have just told about uh, formatting if any doubt is there you can you are always welcome to comment so i am closing my tutorial bye bye take care